hey brazers how are you guys okay so i just noticed this community post by foodie beauty and she reposted something by 60 minutes australia on eds and she wrote not gonna lie i hate that other eating disorders get classified as deadly diseases but binge eating and obesity are seen as gluttonous and lazy and more easily dismissed it's bs Chantal. Okay, let's say I put my addiction on the internet, right? And I was active in my addiction. Maybe the first one or two posts, people would feel sorry for me and probably be like, how can I help? After that, they would start seeing that I'm constantly drinking as my choice, right? And then they would start to feel bad for me. That's just what happens, Chantel. You don't get to keep on this behavior for the rest of your life and we're all supposed to be poor Chantel oh no you're not making like active choices to change you just kind of sit in the problem um perfect example Tammy Lemon how many people are rooting for her how much support does she get it's because she puts in the work and she tries to change all right let's read some of these comments so Tasha said Honestly, I think the reason why most people won't sympathize with your disorder is that you are actively dismissing it yourself every day. People try and give you advice. Even haters have has said to seek the help you need. You talk a big game all the time, but you never follow through. You have the money, the resources, and the time others do not. You could seek the help. Then once you get the help, you have to put in the work. I hope you can come to the realization, take some time away from YouTube, and seek the help. Monetizing it daily while people in your chat are laughing it up isn't doing you any good either. Exactly. LJ said, When people tell you you're eating yourself to death, they mean it. Just because you refuse to listen doesn't mean people think binge eating isn't a disorder, lol. Very well said. Lori Lou Hu said, Chantel, you dismiss the dangers of obesity and binge eating disorders on the regular. Exactly. Shelly T said, monetizing each and every addiction you have is where people lose the ability, have sympathy or empathy for you. Oh, and Cuba Rage shows who you really are. Susanna said, there's help out there for your overeating too, Chantal. Cut it out. You just refuse to commit to getting it. Christina said, when a person disregards any medical or professional help, monetizing monetizes their disorder, shows no desire to make an effort, creates their own little hug box where they are encouraged rather than being held accountable, that person gives up the right to be called a victim and complain about how the world perceives you. There is plenty of coverage in the media and several TV shows addressing binge eating and its struggles. You could just want to reserve the right to complain and deflect any responsibility off yourself and as usual play a victim. It is even about how much food you eat. You neglect any basic tasks or anything that isn't fun for you or doesn't involve your abuser. You lie, manipulate, scam, defend, racism, the list goes on. But you still want to act like the only reason people dislike you is because of your size? Wow. Very well said. AM said, dude, WTF, these two women died. You still seem alive and kicking. Um, I'm so confused by that comment. Oh, because the two people, oh my gosh. Oh, all right, well, let's go back to, okay. Hold on, you guys. Um, okay. Taco Bell said, not gonna lie, I hate when people say they'll do something and don't. Like taking out heaps of trash in a home. Instead, they eat and sit in front of a camera so high, they can't remember what they said hours before. That comes off as being gluttonous and lazy. Mademoiselle said, I was severely anorexic and felt condemned and made to believe it was all in my head. The truth is our disorders are our own to treat and deal with. Um, Sage said, you think if you label yourself something, it relinquishes responsibility. True. Soph said, I don't know. I think that BD, at least in the U.S., is treated by the media like a deadly disease and not just laziness. We have my 600-pound life, too large, and other shows that focus on individuals with eating disorders. But I've yet to see a serial show that deals with the lives of real anorexics on TV nowadays. Lady Luck said, there's actually quite a difference between the two disorders, though. 
For anorexia, you are dealing with someone extremely disciplined. For food addiction, it's often the opposite. You can't implement discipline, so they are pretty different in nature. Food is just the common denominator where it plays out. Okay, Steve said, blah, blah, blah. Deflect, delay, deny. Ignore everything else and focus on your health if that's what you want to do. Comparing your situation to someone else's and how unfair it is is just an excuse. Susie said, <clears throat> watching you for years now, you are lazy and you even call yourself that from the outside looking in on your life. It does appear to be gluttonous. You know you have a problem, yet you won't help yourself and have no desire to. My sister died from obesity. She was 368 pounds when she died with no warning. It was heartbreaking to watch her kill herself with food. If nothing else, think of your family. Susie, I'm so sorry for your loss. Because you get morbidly obese by laying and not active, you can't eat 10,000 calories a day and expect to lose weight, lol, Jen said. All right. Tammy Ripley said, I was down to 85 pounds at one time, and whoever said it involves discipline is right. Thank goodness I'm at a better place. Overeating is way different than anorexia when two involves the brain. All right. Summer Flower said, I don't feel this way. I do believe in... I do believe you and others like you have an affliction, which is out of your control. It's not normal to eat and eat until you feel sick. Here's the thing, though. I have sympathy for people who do nothing to better their situation. Oh, wait, I have no sympathy for people who do nothing to better their situation. Don't look for compassion when sitting there shoving food and hand over fist while talking about how you're really going to get healthy and trying to justify what you're eating. As per usual, you want to pat on the head and or sympathy when none is warranted. You are a willing participant in your ED, so don't expect others to care. Haunted Valley said, If you felt that your eating disorder was serious, which it is, you would be doing something about it. No one can do it for you. Very well said. Knox said, I feel like this point could have been made without involving other people's struggles. Summer said she posted this to create a deflection because everyone knows she spent the night at the hotel with you-know-who. Now that you brought that up, does anybody else find it weird that neither of them have been online and it just happens to be at the same time? Hmm. All right, you guys. Well, I think we'll end the post here. I know there needs to be a big trigger warning on this. I know it's very, this is a very sensitive topic. Um, but I want you guys to be able to share your opinions, your thoughts down below. Let's just please all be respectful to one another. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you soon. Bye.